season these bad boys. So you're gonna, on a plate, you're just gonna pour out some basil, of course, oregano. It gives it that Italian flavor. Red chili flakes. And whisk those bad boys together. The basil, the oregano. See that? Perfect. Roll it onto the seasoning. And you can roll it as much as you want, but look at that. Now you have the beautiful stems. Now you have the beautiful rose tip. And you're just gonna roll it onto the seasoning. Perfect. Now this food, it's really seasoned, but you have to imagine, this is basically like a mini pizza in each bite. So you really do want to season your food. You know, like you see that loose roll type like that. And look how pretty these bad boys are. Now they're ready to go into a tray and I'm gonna show you how we topped them off with butter. Too shy about it, you're gonna get a food brush or any type of brush and you're just gonna oil your pan. So these guys don't stick. I use olive oil because olive oil is just healthier, better, but if you have any other oil, go ahead and use that. There is no discrimination of oil. It'll taste fine no matter what. Olive oil is just more what I believe is on pizza. So we're gonna put our roses on here. They will expand slightly. That's why I kind of go into this diagonal pattern going on right here. You see that? And look how pretty these things are. Perfect. Now, you're like, this is not a pizza, it's just pepperoni. Correct. Mozzarella shredded cheese. And I would prefer using it from cheese block, but this is all I have. And you're just gonna sprinkle the cheese around your pan. And this is going to make beautiful cheese crust around your flowers. And this is gonna bloom very nicely. Okay, this is going to get crispy, it's going to get cheesy, and we're just gonna put it around the pan. As you can see here, a little goes a long way. You don't want too much cheese and you don't want too little cheese. So you're just gonna sprinkle it in between your roses, just like that. It's like a garden. It's a beautiful cheese field with rose pizza flowers. And you eat with your eyes, people, so. And also, don't forget this, throw some cheese, a little bit goes a long way into your flowers, just like that. And there are gonna be a little bit cheese bombs in there, so it'd be very tasty. Perfect, as you can see, I'm cheesing up the place. And that's gonna melt down nicely. And you want not too thick of a layer, you kinda of want to flatten it a little bit, just like that. Kind of combine it to your cheese right there so it gets nice and crispy and everything gets cooked nicely, okay? And now that's cooking down a little bit, perfect. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Beautiful. Grab some cheese for yourself. The pizza rolls are ready. As you can see, I cut the cheese up, but look at this. Now watch what I do. So you're just gonna get the, the rose and you're just gonna twist it. As you can see, the cheese is rotating with the rose. If the cheese is sticking to the other cheese, then you just wanna twist it out. Just like that. Keep twisting. And as you can see, it's fully getting encompassed with the rose. And that is what you want. Look at that. So here again, look. One more time. As you can see, I am twisting. I'm twisting. I'm twisting. That cheese got a little crispy, but it's okay. Now watch this. Twisting and twisting. As you can see, the cheese is fully connected to this rose. One more time here. Bam, and now the cheese is the bottom part of this magical pizza rose. As you can see, it's getting all nice and up there. Bam, look how beautiful that is. Now, let me show you how to serve these. I topped these bad boys with some Parmesan cheese. If you don't like Parmesan, you don't need to, but these are the iconic pizza roses. Check these out. Look at this cheese right here. I pair it with marinara or some pesto. If you love ranch too, you can try it, but look at this. I'm gonna grab this one. Look at the cheese bottom. Look at the cheese twist. Look at how pretty this is. Give it a try. This is pizza roses.